There are hundreds of testimonies online of people having near-death experiences. And these are not people that all share the same belief system. However, one thing that is clear is that most of these people seem to be genuine. But how is it possible that a person who hates God and another who loves him both end up in paradise? Well, this video is a testimony of a man who went to hell and he was shown the explanation to all of it. And so I was walking down there and seeing all that and I stopped in front of some of the cells and watched things unfold. So this lady came in a tornado vortex, deposited on the road, and for some reason I was granted the ability to see what she saw as well as what I saw at the same time. I can't explain that at all. And so I'm, I'm watching this person being deposited there. They thought they were in paradise. They didn't see where she was. She knocked on the door. Her door opened and there was her grandmother and all these rel relatives who went on before for her who died came up and, and said to her you know um welcome dear pudding you entered paradise can't you feel the love here and she goes oh yes grandmother this is oh, oh and this is really you oh yes it's me me it's me it's me this is uncle joe uncle this that when aunt so-and-so you know you know and you're back you know this looks like the farm he goes yo you're in paradise you're gonna love it here can't you feel the love and excitement? And I could see the entities for what they were and the image they were emanating. Still can't explain that in this timeless time uh, state. And I could see that in, this, in the scene being enacted out. And I knew her life history at the same time. And so she went into the kitchen. She followed her grandmother into the kitchen and, her, and said, I'm going to bake you your cookies. Let's go outside. Go to your favorite spot. And her favorite spot was close by. What it looked like to her, it looked like a stream or oh, water in hell. There is no water in hell. There's none. But to her, it was like a mirage. She thought she saw it. She got sat on a rock, put her hand in there and pulled out sand. And then she realized that she was not in a very nice place. So she shrieked when the two trees that provided shade turned into these squid-like things with tentacles and surrounded her. And she shrieked and screamed. And it really shook me up. That's why I wrote about it. I was like, wow, this seeing her scream that way, horrible scream. And then um, this is the type of person she was. She would, she, her favorite method of discipline for her kids was a hairbrush, the back part of a hairbrush. And this comes from the upper class people. He said, in this family, we only have doctors and dentists and lawyers. You will not be a fireman. You will not be a spaceman. You will not be a homemaker, little Susie, or in play with dolls. You're going to be a dentist. You're going to be a psychologist. You're going to be making money. And that's how she was. She'd beat that into them, literally. She was not a nice person to her family or to her, to her husband or nothing. She beat the tar out of her kids for if they wanted to be a fireman, like a six year old wants to be a fireman or something. No, bam, bam. She was mean. But on the outside, she was the nicest lady in the world. She baked cookies, or I guess it was grandmother's recipe. She did nice things, member of the PTA, very involved in culture and cultural things. And being a good mom, that's what she gave the illusion of, but she was a horrible mom. And she tormented her kids in ways that were just disgusting. I won't get into that. And she thought she entered heaven. You know, if she was resuscitated at that time, and if I was resuscitated too soon, I would not be afraid to tell people to go ahead and die. You're going through the light and you're going to enter in heaven. What she saw, and I think this is the only reason the Lord allowed me to come back is to warn people. Not all that glitters is gold. If it sounds too good to be true, then it is. You believe that about salesmen and, and used car lots and used salesmen, but you do not believe it come with any deeds. They come with everybody makes it into heaven. There's all this new age garbage they bring into it. And uh, that's a lie. There's a lot of people that have these experiences, and I've come across a few of these testimonies where they, you know, some kind of atheist or, or some kind of person like that, and they die and they say, well, it was so peaceful and you shouldn't be afraid of death. And so I am not the kind of person to disbelieve someone's experience, but I think there's an explanation behind everything. And your experience explains all of that very, very well, because let's go back even to the beginning of what you experienced when you left your body. All the pain was gone. It was very peaceful. It was very good up until you went to be judged. And then even when you entered hell, uh, it looked like paradise. And that also could have been misconstrued as you go into paradise. And so it makes sense of all these other 
near death experiences or after death experiences, which I actually like that term that people have online and they don't mention Jesus. But the part that's important is that this is just very temporary. And if they stayed longer, then they would actually see what it is actually like in reality. Exactly right. You're, I learned how deceptive these creatures are. I call them creatures, you know, demonic beings, whatever you call them, demons. Uh, they're very deceptive. In the deception, they have no problem having doctors to bring you back to life and report on this stuff. Anything to keep you away from Jesus, they will. Anything they can deceive you to keep you away from the gospel, they will do it. To fight tooth and nail for that. And they have a lot of, a lot of these people come back. I was, uh, notified by a, NED researcher, I won't say the name out of respect, was secular. And um, they want to hear my story, probably put it on their website, but they chose not to because it was a negative one, and negative ones are bad. You just had, you had a mother-father issue. No, we never had a mother-father issue. I never loved my parents. They loved me, but I was just got just deceived by the world. That's basically what happened. My parents were very nice, never had anything against me. 